This episode is brought to you by the Municipal Councilor for the District of St. Bruno since 2013, Mr. David Dakotas. David understands his important role as a competent and honest administrator. In addition to his mandate as a Municipal Councilor for the District of St. Bruno, he held key positions on the Executive Committee as Vice President of the Executive Committee and Deputy Mayor. David chaired the Board of Directors of Société de Transport de Laval, or STL. David also wants St. Bruno to remain a vibrant community with a strong community attachment serving its citizens. Now, back to our latest episode. Hey guys, How you doing? How you what's doing? happening? How you Let's doing? wait for Lisa to get her camera all stored the way it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's my hair is yeah, a bit short. Get up, you know what? You got we catch half of your face, Lee. It yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> Better like that. How's it going? Guys? A lot of mystery. <laughs> Madonna, three shows in a in a row with Alfie. Francesca, forget it. <laughs> yeah, she's in a different world over here. She's running all kinds of Italian things. <laughs> not five guys. She got not five guys. That was last week, Lisa. <laughs> Francesca had a board meeting. Very important yeah. board meeting. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it could be more important than a Lee Kumbare <laughs> podcast where we talk about stupidity. Nothing. <laughs> but uh, you know what? As promised, Lisa, you have a uh, like a segment today, don't you? I do. I. I do. Well, you said it last week. I didn't get my segment. So give me your segment. <laughs> Alfie, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? You guys had a good week. Well, uh, left, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. No, I was milking cows. You, for you played the, the accordion. You played the accordion. <laughs> that was last. Make, no, I was making the cheese. Before did my, you, before oh, my. Did you make cheese? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Uh, very okay. good. Homemade cheese. Was it ricotta? Was it tasty? Yeah, was ricotta. Ring was around the curdle? collar a bit. You know, you just collect it with a with a with a little with a little spoon. <laughs> it goes good with coffee when you left. Kuno Kucharin, yeah. Uh, too funny. Oh. Too funny. We should, too have funny. A, we should have a podcast, a Glico Body podcast, only in Calabres dialect. You know, we yeah, should have I a know, podcast. Understand nothing, nothing. We should have a podcast where your phone doesn't make everyone want to throw up because it's constantly in motion. That's what we it's should have co- a podcast. It's, it's Cloverfield. How about we find a way so that it doesn't move? Because right now <laughs> I am going to throw up. <laughs> when you were doing that, where was the other? Hand? Yes. You see? Here. Yeah. yeah, and where's the other one? We didn't see it. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how about, how about see, you holding. how about you fix this camera issue? Uh <laughs> you have to hold it it's the whole time. It's on my knee. It's on my knee. Really? Are we that poor with the combined? <laughs> we don't have a phone stand, a 99 cent phone stand. I have a phone stand. I don't have a phone stand. And my dog is sleeping. <laughs> Put it on him. Oh my God. We might get kicked off YouTube for fucking too many people no, having seizures. Won't. Seizures. No. <laughs> That's so Lee, you about this Italian captain that you were talking about. Yeah, so what's our topic? With his big ship, motion of the ocean kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's a Italian, it's cruise ships and how cruise ships, um, they're, the captains are predominantly Italian. It is true. It is true. I know. That's why I said it. Alfie, did you ever take a cruise? <laughs> Never took a cruise, you know, especially the ones in Italy because they sink their boats. I knew that was coming. I knew that I'm was sorry, coming. But I'm gonna go take a cruise in Italy, and the guy sinks his boat. That again. was one, one. That was like uh, that's like not taking a plane because a plane crashed. It seems like, it seems like every boat that leaves from Europe ends up sinking. No, the Titanic, the Britannica, I... the 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 the, 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 the Andrea Doria. The, <laughs> no, we're talking. Me, I go ships. on. Me, I we're, must go we're, on. Because we're I talking... don't know. The Vikings came from this side and made it fucking across the ocean in Dude, fucking canoes. I'm going. I'm leaving in uh, exactly a month. It's a month and a half. I'm going? on a cruise. I'm doing a cruise out of Miami on an Italian ship, baby. <laughs> Actually, I'm leaving out of Fort Lauderdale. I'm doing a seven day cruise. I, I love cruising. It's well, awesome. Disney? No, it's not a Disney cruise. Uh, no, I, 
I like the actual cruise. Like Disney is cool, but I, I'm a Disney cruise. If I have to do With a Disney, kids? my daughter, me and my daughter. Just you and your daughter. Well, my cousin and his wife and his son are going to be there too. So it's the where's, the where's the wife and all of this? Uh, so yeah, long story, but my mother in law's in town because my trip is two weeks. So I'm doing Miami for a week and one week cruise. But my mother in law um, is is uh, she has, she's got vertigo. So she doesn't really want to attempt the ship because once you're on the ship, you don't get off. <laughs> and so uh, my wife and son decided to stay. My my son didn't want to miss too much work in soccer. So he's he wanted to do like just, you know, one week. He didn't want to do the cruise. And my wife is staying there and I'm going with uh, my daughter. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's fun. But I love cruising. I could do cruises forever. Uh, just because the food is so good, the service is so good. It's an yeah, island. You gotta it's pay a... for it, but the food you gotta pay for it. No, no, no. It's a, you pay and you're on the ship. Once you pay, it's to like get an all inclusive. It. Yeah, it's like an all inclusive. Almost. Well, but your booze you pay. So, because I'm a bit of a sporcaria, I took the package. So they have packages. When you you to buy a cruise, you buy your cruise, and it comes with the food. And mm -hmm. I think you get like water, coke and coffee for free or something you get like you know no juice water the basics like they give you at the casino yeah they exactly orange they juice coke water yeah they basics. give you the basics i took a i i bought a drink package because i know i'm gonna yep. drink so and how much is the drink <laughs> package so i got the drink and wi-fi package which cost us 350 dollars each or 400 dollars each like 800 bucks for the two of us so all the drinks and alcohol for me and what Wi-Fi, because Wi-Fi is expensive on a ship, unfortunately, because you're mm. using satellite signals. So it literally costs like $25 a day, just the Wi-Fi signal. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. We thought Cuba was expensive. Most people, when you're, because you're over the ocean, you're in the middle of nowhere. No. Is that where a cruise goes? Fucking crazy, eh? Oh yeah, I thought, God. It, was, I thought oh, it was in the lake. It's in a lake, in a little. It's in a swamp anyway, marsh. So back to it is. I can't. I've been on four cruises up to now. I've taken them out of Miami. I've taken them out of Europe, out of Rome, and what Lisa's saying is so true. Predominantly, every captain of every ship I have been on, and my parents, are Italian, and I was <laughs> wondering why. Like, is there a reason why? But this even, is only Italian cruises or no, MSC? So MSC is an Italian company. So then mm -hmm. you figure, okay, it's an Italian company. No, but every cruise line, Carnival Cruise Lines, most of their, I think 80% of their captains are Italian. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Well, Carnival owns about five different cruise lines. Carnival is the big mother hen, right? That owns, uh, I think they own Royal Caribbean. Don't they own Silver Seas too? They oh, no. probably own Silver Seas. I think mm -hmm. the other company, other than MSC, is uh, Princess, which is self-owned by Princess. But but uh, Carnival is the big one for sure. That owns a bunch of them. Uh, mm -hmm. But they're all Italian. Um, yes, yeah, so why? Lisa? Yeah, yeah. Well, Carnival Cruises um, associate with Italy, so the majority of the uh, captains are Italian. Um, so, um, they also say that the ships are, are predominantly manufactured or constructed in Italian shipyards. That's so probably why. That's the majority of the reason, I guess, that's the bulk of the reason. I mean, you have your other uh, captains, you can have Indonesian, course, you I'm have sure, Greek, yeah. you have Filipino, the predominant ones are Italian. And um, that's basically, like I said, it's because of the shipyards and where they're constructed. And like a Carnival Cruise is already associated with Italy, with Italy. I guess it's based on the European cruise. There must be some sort of market. So right? there's a link. There's a link. And they, they engage Italian captains more so than any other. Not because they're discriminating. It's just it's just the way just Carnival happens. Lines so happens. It's their association is linked to Italy. Well, there are some businesses that just, you know, it just so happens that like, uh, like the video game industry has a lot of Montrealers because we have a yeah. big company in Montreal in Canada. Like Ubisoft. Yeah. Ubisoft and EA Sports. Yeah. It's Canadian, right? So 
there's a lot of Canadians that work on it, right? It's just I don't know what it is, uh, and yeah. I guess that must it's be because more, more, more of the um, Anglophones or the English or the Americans, let's say whatever, uh, they're, they're on battleships. <laughs> <laughs> their captains are on battleships. They're they're just True. waiting. They're too busy. Wars. They're too busy. <laughs> they're too busy. They're too busy, they're too busy saving wars. the world. <laughs> oh, that's it. But they're but you know what? Sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? No, no, I'm, I'm saying a story about a cruise. So, because <laughs> I love cruises. <laughs> I, I was going to say that the employees, believe it or not, 60% of them come from the Philippines. Yeah, of course. Uh, and the majority of the majority of the employees are Indonesian, Indian, and Malaysian. Yeah. Well, yes, but all the actually North Americans, there's a lot because mm-hmm. in, on the entertainment side, they it's a lot of singers dancers musicians uh mm-hmm. come from the states canada a lot of them a yep, lot i mean exactly. there's others of course they come from other places but yes there is a lot of indians and malaysians and is uh, people so it, it that it, that's the beauty of it is there's a lot of different races of people that are working it it's pretty cool but the no certain, mexicans you know what? I don't know. It's I I don't recall. I don't. There's no, still... Senor. I don't no, get senor. nothing for you. No, no, no. They're all in Cuba. <laughs> They're in Cuba. <laughs> but you know what? The story I was gonna say because my father, my my dad loves cruising. That's I guess that's where I got it from. Because once I did it once, I'm like I ain't gonna do. I don't I don't do all inclusives anymore because of that. Because I really, really, really enjoy the service and the food. On the mm-hmm. so my dad knows that they're Italian. So my dad, the minute he walks in the ship, my dad must have done about 30, 40 cruises. He literally... Oh, goes, nice. Yeah, my dad goes to visit countries. So my dad did Egypt. My dad did Japan, Shanghai. He's done China. He did it on my parents. And, you know, going to, as an older Italian gentleman and or couple, to go to Asia is quite scary. Like, when you think about it, like, is, is this a good hotel? Is that? I don't speak the language. I don't know the food. Yeah. Is it cats? Is it dogs? What, what is it? Right? Yeah. So my parents say, I want to visit, but I'm going to do it on a cruise where I know my home, my room is taken care of and my food is taken care of. If I don't like the food that I'm there, I have the food on the ship. So my my parents have done tons of cruises and they did all of them, like all these different countries on cruise. And my dad knows that a lot of predominantly they're Italian captains. So they walk on the ship and the captain usually greets everybody at the beginning. And my dad walks up and always starts talking Italian to whoever's there. And he knows. He goes, ciao, go beside. And he starts the Italian. Oh, Italian. You know, yeah, you're Italian. They start talking Italian. And every time he goes, the captain meets my dad and he talks Italian. The captain. So it's not that he's happy because there's other Italians. But he pulls a, he looks and he grabs one of the waiters and he says, this couple, you know, it gives them a little secret, you know? Okay, my dad, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, we'll see you around the ship. Okay, cool. My dad, every night, when he got to his table where they eat, they would sit down, the waiter would see him, and they would bring a, a big tray of prosciutto, cheese, oh, no. olives. Oh, my God. Now I'm getting hungry. Every day. <laughs> the minute they saw my parents come in, because my parents talked to the captain, the captain said, hey, these guys, they're Italian. They, you know, take care of them. Like, bring them the Italian stuff, you know? Uh-huh. And every night, they they cater like you pay for it, but they cater like it's insane. They know when I would go, you know, I had my kids were younger, so I would get there. The crayons were ready. They... By the second time, they know what, what, like my son always liked to order on the side. He always liked to have a steak on the side. So they would they would automatically order him the steak and then ask him what else he wants. Like it was already there. Oh, he would nice. sit down, food was there, crayons, toy, like, yes. <laughs> un- Bless you. Salute. Thank you. It's unbelievable the service that they have. Uh, that's what I like. Now, again, I'm sure there's, you know, negative stuff that has happened, guaranteed. Um, but I just like the fact Titanic that, is one. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a cruise. Well, yeah. it was a cruise line. Yeah. It was a cruise. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. a cruise. Yeah. Actually, they were saying it was, it was not liner. even the original Titanic. It was the Olympic. It wasn't. It was yeah. Olympic. Did yeah. you did you ever stand near a cruise ship? Did, like, did you ever see one live? I yeah. been well, I've been to the old port, so I, I can tell just the ships already are you. Okay. Those so I can ships imagine are the, a, the old those port. are like the old no, port, pieces. <laughs> the old port is way too small to have a cruise ship come in, like a real mm-hmm. cruise ship, a big, 
That's why we don't, or else we would be sailing out of here. The closest yeah. here is New Jersey. And no, it's uh, Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh. You can't take a, you can't take yeah, a, you can. a cruise out of Plattsburgh. Yeah. Okay. Who was it that did no, it? It was a broker cruise... that did it years ago. It, maybe they took a fair years. Years. <laughs> It's New York yeah, and, and Boston <laughs> will have, so the big cruise companies go to Boston, but there's only one or two of them. New York and New Jersey. Those are the three ports. So there's no, there, there are ports to, in Canada. Uh, come into the floor, uh, into the, into the river. Here, no. And so if you're at the old port and you see a big ship, picture a cruise ship is, and I'm not kidding, I am not exaggerating, it's about 10 to 20 times that size. I so know, I saw when I went to New York, it was immense. It was the like ship that I'm going city. on right now is, is 210,000, 210 or 220,000 tons. <laughs> so there's 5,000, no, 4,500 passengers and 2,500 staff. That's how oh big this God. is. So there's, there's like, there's 15 floors. Oh, on the ship it's it's you don't like to walk across a cruise ship the bigger ones especially it's not like a two-minute walk that you know like a hotel it takes you like half an hour to walk across it if you're on one end of the <laughs> ship and you got to go to the other it's like a oosh, right oh i'd really? love it oh my god imagine yeah, the exercise man. there's there's 15 floors of rooms <laughs> that's I, 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 now, now now you're enticing me to go I'm, if okay, can you if, take a one day cruise, you could take a one day cruise. You could take a you could take a two day or a three day, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going down to Florida, so if I could take like a one day cruise, you know what you could do if you're not, you know, you can just go to the port and walk around and say, hey, is there any space I want to jump on this cruise? And you'll get it for peanuts. If there's if there's this, an opening, yeah, come on, give us five hundred bucks or three hundred bucks for the four you can get on, take a room because they'd rather, sure, sure, because. If there's an empty room, they rather have you there and hopefully spend money on drinks on the casino. There's a mm -hmm. live casino. There's a casino there, right? It's it's casino. You have three sh three to four shows in a week. But when I say shows, it's like a Vegas style show. They have a big mm -hmm. theater. They have comedians, five six different bands playing on any given night in th five or six different clubs or bars. Like mm -hmm. they're gonna have right. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have one bar with a rock band playing Beatles stuff. Let's say. Another dance club going on another side. Uh, they're going to have uh, a jazz band in, on one place. And then they're going to have a piano guy, like a piano bar, which they all have. And how long does it take for a cruise to get to a certain destination? It depends what the, you look at your port of call, where you're going to go. So like I'm going to, I leave from Fort Lauderdale and I'm doing, uh, I'm doing two days in Bahamas. So I'm going to go visit the Atlantis in those two days. And then I'm going to Cozumel, Mexico, and then I'm going to Ixtapa, Mexico, another place in Mexico, and then I'm coming back. So it's we 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 uh, you know overnight we sail one full day, then we spend one full day there, and then I know two full days in Bahamas, then we sail another day, we uh, one day in Mexico, another day, uh, another place in Mexico, and then we sail back two days. So it takes day. about eight to nine hours to get to your destination. But it depends the cruise. Yeah. It depends. I, guess I would imagine, yeah. Usually plus over, weather. Plus weather. They, they try to sail overnight. So when I did a European cruise, is just fucking gorgeous. When I did a European cruise, I left from uh, Civita Vecchia, which is Rome, and we went down to uh, Sorrento. So one day, then we stopped. We spent a day at, in Sorrento. Then from Sorrento, we went to Nate. Uh, no, I can't remember. We did another Italian stop. And then from there, we went to Mallorca. From Mallorca, we went to Barcelona. Barcelona, we went to Cannes. And then from Cannes, we came back to Rome. So it was something mm -hmm. like that. So I got to see all those cities. It's like, you know... Uh, Sail one day here. What well, when I say a day, you're you 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 know like they'll 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 dock at eight in the morning, and they tell you you have to be back on at seven, because the ship's oh, gonna like leave at day. seven p.m. Yeah, you know. And if but, you miss, if you're not on, you're staying there. Goodbye, Jack. Yeah, you're staying there. But the beauty is the ship is docked. If you don't want to spend money eating in Naples, let's say you docked at Naples, you can go back on the ship, eat, and go back. And on the ship, there's literally so. 
there's you are reserved a spot in the in the restaurant every night at six o'clock. And it's a, it's like a five star restaurant. It literally is uh, a five star restaurant where you know it's a serving. Yeah. If you don't feel like sitting down and having a full elaborate meal, there's a big buffet that opens up for three hours for lunch, three hours for breakfast, three hours for dinner. So you can go and it's it's a wide variety of buffet. Or if not, if that if you don't want any of that, there's always a, like a pizza place where they just have pizza. There's always a sandwich place. There's a oh, hamburger nice. joint. And then mm. on top of that, they have specialty restaurants. So they can have the Japanese restaurant on one end and they'll have, uh, you know, they do have a, the one I'm going on. Uh, a steakhouse, other, maybe. A steak, they have a specialized yeah. steakhouse. And this is all free, right? So the specialized ones, they you might pay for those extra. But the buffet is free. The small little diners are free. And the main restaurant is free. You yeah, just but you want. want to try a specialty. You'd want to try a specialty restaurant. You, I'm sure it would be different from the regular. I the steakhouse, you can't different. It's it's a higher class that you you are gonna spend. It's like because the cut of meat is like triple A, top end, mm. you know. And uh, and the, Jap the Japanese restaurant, it's you know that it's like you're in Japan. The guys there chopping up the shit in front of you, cooking I it, all that it. fucking. Oh, it's pretty cool. It. It's pretty cool. Some of them will offer. Like when you buy the, the crew, some of them will say you get one night in a specialty if you want. Mm -hmm. But you don't if you don't pay for the extra specialty, the, the food is fantastic. Like it's fantastic. So the Italian captains go and eat there, right? Who knows, man? It's really uh I really enjoy it. It's, you're busy. The first time it might be overwhelming because there's so many activities that you want to do everything, you know, that kind of vibe. But you won't be able to do everything. But you won't be able to do everything. There's so many activities going on. Like there's knitting club, there's uh, movies at <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movies okay, at when night. The knitting club. Ping, ping pong tournaments. There's basketball <laughs> tournaments. Hey, the whole top, you play basketball and hockey and soccer on the top of the ship overlooking the ocean. Like it's caged in. Like ball hockey or ice hockey? Yeah, 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 ball hockey. They have uh, the one I'm going Tennis on. Tennis courts? They have tennis courts. The one I'm going on has an F1 there. simulator. Oh, nice. A what? F1 simulator, a, a car. <laughs> a race car. Race car. Okay, okay, okay. Simulator. So you're, yeah. So you're uh, racing. Yeah, they, they have different... There's movies every night on a huge screen on the top deck. Where and how much did that cost you? How much did that run you? Just you. So because I'm a cheap bastard and I went for the sale... Uh, I looked for, I shopped around and I, it, you know, it, it was going around. I'm paying. So my crews, me and my daughter, we paid a thousand dollars each for the seven days. And then I paid the extra thousand dollars for the, or 800 bucks. But this is the, not, that's not including flight. This is just the cruise. No, not including flight. Just the cruise is about a thousand bucks. But, and it was on sale. That's why I bought it because generally in the summer, July, August is busy season. So, yeah. you know, you the prices could hit 15, 16, 2,000. It hits 5,000. They, it's they're like an all-inclusive. There's, like all but I mean, but I mean, you could just show up if they have open. You can try that, or you can look for a sale, man. It, depending when you want to, when you want to cruise, because if you're gonna cruise in November, cru or October, dude, you'll you'll pay uh, 500 bucks a person. You'll get on for a week. No, I'm going, I'm going down maybe the last two weeks of July and the first of August. Yeah, you take a chance. Now, what I yeah, would so I would I I'm going. Yeah, you know, let's say I'd be in Naples. I'd probably go down to uh, Miami and leave out of Miami. Miami is the best bet because that's the biggest port. I won't I won't say in the world, but in North America. So, on a given Saturday, there's probably eight ships there that are going to dock that are going to leave from there. So you have more variety. You go in New York, there's maybe two on a Saturday. It's, okay. just, it's just a smaller Or doctor. during the week, you know, just shoot up during the week, say, I want to do a try. one or two day cruise. You know maybe what? Maybe pay $100, $120 a person for that one or two day cruise. Maybe. Because you're I doing seven check. days for $1,000. Yeah. So I'm saying if you pay $150 and you're doing four people, 600 bucks, but you're there for two days, you visit Aruba and you come back, you eat. It's generally the less you go, the more you pay per night. So a three day cruise will, you know, three, four hundred bucks a person, I would say. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I can't I can't give you the exact prices. But what I would do is go on Expedia, 
just or, check, or, yeah. or yeah, you check you check some some deals and and you'll see like it, you know it'll flash a big sale here. And if the yeah. dates coincide with you, or you can even pick the port you want. You pick the port and you say, show me all the cruises leaving out of Miami in July. Oh, so that's, a good idea. Carter, that's a good what's idea. That? Is the parking included or you have to pay for the parking? I don't know because I always fly. I fly to okay. Miami. Yeah, I'm flying, so I, I don't know. Uh, but if you have a hotel there or whatever, a place. Anyway, it's, I, think it's, it, I think you have to pay for it. I don't think it would be free. Some people are not, you know, the one thing I can say that's a negative for sure is the pools. The pools are amazing. They're fantastic, but, but they're full. So if but. you're at sea, so you're not going to, that's the thing is though you're on the ocean. So you're not going to go to me. I don't go for the pool. I have a pool here. I don't, I'm not going on a cruise ship to go in a pool. That's me. Mm. But if you want a lounge, like you got to go early to get a seat or else it's not okay. You'll always get a seat, but it might not be next to the pool. You understand? Like you might have to go on the top deck or, you know, further away. You're always on the ocean. You always have the sun, just that it might not be next to the pool. Or when you dock at wherever you're docking, Cozumel, right? You go to the beach. That's exactly what yeah, I Yeah, mean. exactly. I, I think mean, that's, that's the exact, whole thing. I go for the beach. I don't care about a pool. Like, I really don't care. I want ocean yeah. water. You know, that's my... Uh... So, yeah, that's Shark it. Shark water. Shark no. water. Yeah, uh, easy. <laughs> Lisa, we need your segment here. We need your segment. It has to be a yeah. good one. We do? Yes, and we've I got a few minutes. Oh my God! So uh, my my segment is the Dolce segment. Oh, with the dessert. So I will tell you. Brace yourself. So what I'm going to um, speak on today is ricotta lemon cookies, Italian traditional cookies. That's great. So, yeah. So you have your your half cup butter. It has to be soft. Two cups sugar. You have two large eggs, lightly beaten, one carton completely of the ricotta cheese. You can do saputo, you can do a uh, uh, trestelle. I normally use, why are you laughing? Because cheese could, <laughs> works. <laughs> yes, no, no, ricotta cheese. I'm, I'm giving the viewers something to, to... I understand. A focal point. Yes. Three tablespoons lemon juice, one tablespoon lemon zest, two and a half cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking powder and three quarter teaspoon salt. So that makes your cookie. And then you have to frost it. So you have to make your frosting. And the frosting, I have to adjust my thing. It's one and a half cups confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, three tablespoons lemon juice and two tablespoons lemon zest. Why are you guys laughing? Is that how you get the five guys? I'm still thinking of the frosting. <laughs> That's confectioner sugar. We're trying, to, we're trying to do a dolce. That's me and Alfie, both <laughs> on the same way. Five guys? Frosty? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. In your, in your case, yes. it's five girls. So, seven is at 375. <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, large bowl, you beat your butter and your sugar, and you mix well. Beat in eggs, ricotta, lemon juice, and the zest. Then you combine your flour, baking powder, and salt. Add it to your butter mixture, and then you sort it. You make your little your cookie. You put it in the oven uh, for 10, 12 minutes. Wait till they cool. Then you put your frosting, and then you just wait till it cools off. It hardens, and then there's your cookie. What are they called? They're lemon ricotta cookies. Sounds delicious. Fuck, that's long and a make. Did you make yeah. them already? No. Why not? <laughs> no, because I'm waiting for my five guys. <laughs> Holy shit! You got no, two here. <laughs> you got two here. <laughs> that, one, that one was like ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just like came out of nowhere. She decided she can't beat us. She's gonna join us. <laughs> so that so I haven't not made them yet. I would really like to make them. Um, I will, but summertime think, is coming. I'm not really a baker during summer, though. That's I think, the only I thing. I think you need to make them so that we can try them first. Yeah. Because we're nice. Yeah, but that. it's summer. But it's summer. I'm not a baker in summer. I don't have the... Okay, you're fired. Ciao. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 only if it rains or thunders. <laughs> only if it rains or thunders. It was raining today. Yeah, I know, but I was working. Make some, some fucking cookies. Why don't you do it no. now? Get up, go make yeah, fucking, yeah, so I make a sandwich so, so I can fucking. 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, guys, go on your episode. cruise. Go on your cruise. You'll be better. Gonna go. I am going to go on a cruise. That's fantastic. Can't wait. <laughs> I've never been. I want to try some. You know what? It's, yeah, me too. It's not been. for everybody. I know guys, that people that hate it. Not, they never tried that I, I think. I know people, that, but once, if you get the bug, I got the bug. I like every couple of years I have to go on a cruise because I enjoy it. Mm. But try it. You know what? And, and Alf, you have it right. Try it once for two days, three days. So that in case if you do hate it, it's not that long. And then once, if you do like it, then you could pick. Hey, they have cruises that go around the world. Like they go on a cruise for, I know there's people, I don't know them personally. There are people that don't own a home. They own a, a room on a ship that travels the world. That's cool. So really, yeah, man, it's a big, it's a big market for sure. Okay, yeah, but I mean, owning a room on a ship, uh, it's expensive. It's a lot yeah. of coin, it's a lot of coin I there. I think, right? I believe, I looked into it just to get pricing. I think you can take a, a cruise around the world in a year, and I believe the price was fifty. 60,000, I believe it was, something in that vicinity. Wow. Yeah. Which is not considering it's food and a year. Well, for... considering, look, if you're going, let, let's say you're, 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 yeah, okay, but the problem is if you're, you're going around the world for three years, you lose your benefits in Quebec. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it's one, it's a one year cruise. No. But they have like three months, six months, eight, like they have. That's so cool. many options. Right? Now, now, That's if you're cool. considering uh, have some people that will go down to Florida and they'll rent like a condo for like snowbirds. Yeah, it's it's three thousand five hundred dollars just to rent exactly in the U.S. Yeah, so you're there six months. You're already at uh, between eighteen and twenty thousand. You yeah. haven't eaten. Yeah, you haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. So something to yeah. consider. Yeah, you know. So you're looking at. About that, in a year, it's forty thousand plus your food, plus yeah. plus your, your gas, right. plus you want to go out. So you're hitting that fifty, sixty thousand. Except that but, they're only doing it on a cruise ship and they don't have to cook. They're, they're and you're seeing, food. and you're seeing the whole world. Like you're seeing, and you're yeah. seeing the whole world. Yeah. Guys, that was a pleasure, man. Try it once. That's my suggestion. Try it once. If you like it, keep doing it. If you don't, fuck off. Okay, guys. <laughs> Are you talking about the five I'm... guys or the cruise ship? <laughs> Both. Well, <laughs> have a good one, guys. Bye. Have a good Bye. one.